Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most top of the line travel trailers. Once we're on the inside, you are gonna think it's a fifth wheel. This is a 2021 Keystone Outback model 330RL. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Outback and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the Keystone Outback 330 RL. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. Like we said yesterday, we're here in North Canton, Ohio. Yes. One of our only Outback dealers, right? I think they sell them in Michigan as well, okay. but yeah, up north. Yep. So um, yeah, we're excited to take a look at the Outbacks. We got a couple here, so you'll probably see a few over the next couple days. Yep. But they're great, great travel trailers. I think you guys will like it. And I wish we sold them down south. Right. Because they're so great. Will, let's begin. Model is Outback 330RL. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 7 inches. The dry weight is 8,790 pounds. And Will, that hitch weight? 1,100 pounds. Perfect. Now let's get started up front here, Will. This okay. is what makes it really unique. Yes. This actually has the stabilizing system, six point like a fifth wheel, and it is very, very nice. Is it six point or four point? Four point, I believe. Oh, okay, four point. But no, it's six point. Is Hang it six on. point? Hang on a second. It's four point. All right, Will, it is four point. Launch on you today. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Still very nice four point stabilizing system. Power, you're able to control it all right here. Right here, we do have propane quick connect right there. Batteries go there and then check this out. This is a nice fiberglass front cap. Here's what I mean. If we go over here. Okay. This is a Keystone Outback Ultra Light, okay? The side meets here, and the front meets here, and the side meets here. Where this is a regular Outback, the side fiberglass meets here, and this actually a front cap over it. You have this dark coat bed liner as well. It's a lot more expensive to do this, but it's a higher end feature. It's less likely to leak that way. Coming on down the side here. Oh, look at this. Oh man, nice storage right there. Not pass through, but you do have this that goes all the way out. Right. We're gonna leave that out. Okay. Right here we do have power. If you do wanna watch TV on the outside. Not frameless windows, I'm pretty surprised. Yeah, that's it. surprising. Right, kinda weird. And a power awning with LED lights with speakers on the outside. Coming on down the side here, because this is a Keystone Outback, it does have the Arctic barrier package, heated and enclosed for cold weather camping. I love that. Also, lifter component, solid steps right there. Very, very nice. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Trailer Kings. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. And then here's what's really unique about it being a rare living. Look at this. Wow. Huge outside kitchen. One of the biggest outside kitchens I've ever seen. It really is. Look at this. You got storage right here. Nice little countertop area. Stove top. Okay. Little uh, action storage. right there. And. Refrigerator right there. Cool. Clean and neat. <laughs> Pretty neat. Cool. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. It is prepped for a backup camera if you wanted to add one. 50 amp unit. There's where you hook up your 50 amp cord. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, 
You can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We have one air conditioning unit here. It is prepped for two. Right there is your WineGuard 360 digital antenna. And then you do have your cutouts for your Max Air fans. Careful, you're like right on the edge. Here we go now. Well, I live life on the edge. <laughs> I can tell that ladder only has a 250 pound weight capacity. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Right here is your docking station. It's gonna have like a little outdoor shower area. Good place for your hookups. Coming on down the side here. This is where you dump your black and gray tank. That's okay. a good spot. Yep. It's gonna be your potable water fill right here. Yep. This is gonna be where you hook up your satellite right there, your cables. And then this here will a little bit of storage. Cool. And then right over here is your water heater. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Oh, we didn't even check to make sure the lights were on. Oh man, I don't think they are either. Now they are. Cool. Come on in. All right, we'll start up front. Nice bedroom up here. Then down the middle, we have the bedroom or bathroom. Coming to the back, you got the kitchen in the middle and dining area and the living area in the back. Well, what did I say about feeling like you're in a fifth wheel? Yeah, with the ceiling and everything. Yes. Great. Now, before we begin, I do want to take a second to thank our sponsor, campgroundviews.com. If you guys haven't already heard, Campground Views is a new website that gives you 360 virtual digital tours of state and national parks and coming soon, all campgrounds, okay? You guys spend all this time doing research on the right RV. Now you're able to tour the national parks, which is really important to make sure you can fit in there, to make sure there's not a tree in the way. Not only that, you can set your dates and actually book the national park through the website. It's an awesome website and it makes everybody wonder, why didn't I think of that? We have an interview with Mark, the owner of campgroundviews.com. Don't watch that video now. We'll link it at the end of this video and down in the description below. And Will, what should everybody do? Check out that video and check after out. After this oh, video. Oh, after, yeah. Will, we're starting back here. All right. Now check this out. Will, I mean, this height is crazy. It is, yeah. For a travel trailer, it is very, for very sure. nice. Plenty we, of storage. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Nice storage there. Three big windows in the back. Valances are okay. I don't know if I like them. I don't know if I hate them. I'm not going to argue with them because Outbacks do sell very well nationwide. Yeah. So people must like it. You know, I like the big windows. You got your little side tables right there. Storage. Yes, sir. Oh, no nope. storage. Fake storage. <laughs> yep. And then this comes out to make a bed. And you know what we're going to do, Will? We're going to show it. You know why? This is America. America, that's why. <laughs> there you go. Nice, comfortable tri-fold pull-out bed. Easy to set up, easy to assemble, comfortable enough to have a good night's sleep. That's right. But uncomfortable enough so where your guests aren't going to want to stay with you forever. <laughs> and then right over there, Will's the theater seats, Thomas Paine collection. Some of the fanciest of theater seats right there. No cabinetry above, so you're able to get the big window. Did I mention you do have the blacked out privacy shade? I think you did, yeah. Well, so nice I can say it twice. That's right. 
And then this does have the parachute cable right here, so where you can lay back and actually enjoy it. You got your cup holders here, remote holders there. And then, well, we're enjoying the TV because it is directly across from the theater seats. Now, this is what I love. Not only were they able to give you a big outside kitchen, they did it behind and they're still able to give you all this storage. Yeah, nice entertainment center. Yeah. Now, it doesn't need to be deep. It doesn't need no. to be deep storage. It just needs to be good enough to fit stuff in. You have your nice big TV right here, Jensen. DVD sound system there and an InnoFame fly, an Inno flame fireplace right there that does produce heat from electricity. Okay. And then over here, well, check this out. No carpet in the slide outs. We Very love nice. that. Yeah. Right there, it's your dinette area. You do have the table, four solid chairs. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have much rather had two chairs with two fold up chairs, but right. it is what it is. Um, and you're kind of tucked away in this little corner here with uh, a USB right there, which also doesn't make sense. Cause there's nothing to set it down unless you have a really long right. board. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $56,256. Will, that is MSRP. Sale price, do you see a sale price there? I do not. Nope, because we're not advertising sale price because it's still current model year. But Will, we sell a ton of these things and we do sell them at sale prices. And if somebody wants to get the sale price on this, and they want to get the best price in America, Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com there you'll see a contact tab with three sections if you're ready to buy this rv or any rv click tab number one that takes you to general rv somebody from my team will get you the best price in america if you're not ready to buy this rv not a problem click tab number two that sends an email to both will and myself and we're here to help answer your questions to get you to the right buying decision or if you're not ready to buy it all not a problem click that third tab we're here just to talk and will doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're gonna get the best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys, so we'll start right over here with the kitchen. We got a nice pantry space, pantry type space right there. For sure. And right over here, you got a nice GE compressor refrigerator. Okay, very nice. So this works off of electric, but it cools really quick. It's already getting cold. Nice. Just walk the golf cart battery. Exactly. Got a little bit of storage right here. Okay. Got a nice range hood here. Hood range, furious. And you do have a little window here. Mm. Oh, here's the string. Let in some nice natural light, and it, the window does open, which is nice. Yeah, man. Um. Oh, and this does have a light. Nice three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights. Okay. And oven. Good size oven. It is, yeah. Got like Ooh. a little spice drawer there. Pull out spice rack. Mm -hmm. and some storage there. Then on this kitchen island. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, so this has the skylight. Oops. Like that, let in some good natural light. Yeah, leave it open, leave it okay. open. That's nice. Yeah. Got some nice lights here. Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. Um, but they are nice looking. A little spray faucet right here. Nice big single bowl sink. No, sorry. No, go ahead. Now this is, this doesn't look bad. Yeah, that's better. Cause it's a 50-50. Right. It's when just the handle and just this is silver and the rest of it's black. Yeah. I don't like that. But the fact that they put this little spring around. Yeah. You know. Nice solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. A couple drawers here. There, and some storage right there. Oh, hey now! That's a $104 trash can! Sure is. Nice. And then behind me, we got some more storage right here. I'm on the can side. See? Oh. Nice. Right there. They got the nice high point microwave. Oh, they oh, fixed it. They fixed it. They did. <laughs> Something's missing. Not missing. Missing. Um, this is convection, right? Yep. I yeah. noticed that as well. <laughs> 
Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah. Paper towel holder. That's a $312 paper towel holder. <laughs> And then some more storage up top. Yep. I've never, coffee bar. I we've done like I've done like twelve hundred videos. I haven't seen a paper towel holder. I, I don't think I have either. Nice little coffee bar here. Not enough room to make a taco bar, but that's okay. And a little bit more storage right there. Mm, killer. Cool. It's now time it. for that shower test. All right. I hope it's not radius. You're gonna be disappointed. Is it radius? Yeah. Oh man. Disappointing too, because they could have got the height right if they laid it out better and didn't do a radius shower. But mm. you know the rules. It's forbidden. It's forbidden to pass a radius shower. You got a little storage right there by the sink, towel holder, and all that. Not a towel holder. What what do you call this? Like a little wardrobe. Yeah. Okay. Towel closet. Oh. Wow, that's amazing. You know why? Because this is a prime poop position. Bing! There you go. They got to done ruin it with a radius shower. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, bro. Cool. Let's finish up. Oh, wow. Nice big bedroom. Big bedroom. Because it's King on that size slide. bed on a slide. Yeah. Up. Yes, sir. Nice storage above. Dual windows. I like that headboard back there. The bedroom looks really nice. It does, it's yeah. It's quaint, it's nice. Big bed, storage underneath oh, yeah. the bed. Oh, with the uh, with the pet the, thing. the cage of doom underneath. Yeah. Hey. I don't know what animal would like that. <laughs> listen, listen. I love my dog right. more than most people. It's not going in the crate of doom. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know sleeping right here. Yep. <laughs> Crate of Doom. Nice closet there. We should make a t shirt. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you'd buy a t shirt that said Crate of Doom. <laughs> and it's like a dog under the bed in a crate. Wow, wash your dryer prepped. In a travel trailer? Dude, in I told travel you. Travel trailer. It's like a travel trailer made for a fifth made to be like a fifth wheel. And of course it have to have fifty amps so you can't add the second AC. Right. Well not only that with the AC shortage as well, you know. Yeah. You got your TV mount bracket right there. And dresser drawers right here. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it will what do we do first three things we dislike mm -mm. three things we like yes here's why okay i have all three dislikes and okay. most of them are outside okay so you go first for the likes for the likes i'm gonna have to say for sure this bedroom area okay okay nice big slide here huge Just makes this bedroom spacious so you have room here and even, you know, they didn't compromise at all. You got room on either side, and you still get a, a big king bed. You can walk around it. Yeah, you got a nice closet, like in a fifth wheel, yep. and washer dryer prep. Now, it's, it's, it's probably all in one. It's, it's combo, yeah. Yeah. But still, you're able still. to actually take your shoes off in That's here and crazy. get changed. Yep. Very, very nice. That's number one. Okay. Number two, Will, I'm going to say the nice radius roofs. Okay. Know? This is a travel trailer. It's big, it's spacious. I don't even know why I'm showing me. Yeah. Well, look at that. Plenty of head height. Plenty of head so. height. Very nice. That's number two. Okay. And then number three is outside, Will. Yep, I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Number three, we're giving it to this outside kitchen. For sure. Outside kitchens are huge. Outside kitchens are awesome. And to get an outside kitchen on a rear living doesn't happen much. So it's really, really nice. And I'm going to combo that with that entertainment center inside as well. Okay. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things. Oh, careful. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Okay. It's your water hookup. It's a yeah. $56,000 travel trailer. <laughs> they can do a lot better job with the water hookup. Right. This is very cheap and chintzy, and I expect better. Yep, for sure. That is number one. 
Not a big deal though. I still can't believe I could have. Guess it's not six point. I could have sworn it was six point. Number two. I do not like this. Is this slide out right here? There's stuff that's gonna get back there. It's gonna fall. I'm not gonna be For able to sure. get it out. Yeah. Not only that, it's gonna mess with the track system as well. So you won't be able to close this out. I don't like that. Make the door a little bit bigger and make it so we can actually reach back there and get that stuff. For sure. That's number two. And Will, do you have a passionate number three? Because I do have a number third if you don't. Um, not really. Okay. Well, it's dinner time. Yeah. Please sit at the table and have dinner for us. Okay. It's doable. It's just, it's very tight. It is very, very tight there. Yeah. And no. they have such a big entertainment center. You could have shrunk that up. A they have bit. a big entertainment center and a big outside kitchen. Mm -hmm. The difference of three or four inches would have made a huge yeah. difference for you. It would have. Yep. Well, well. That's it. That's the review. Okay. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call, text, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is the personal cell or the best thing to do is go to Matt's RV Reviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a travel trailer like this, in a few moments, we're going to put its competitors right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching again. If you're looking at a fifth wheel, but maybe you want something a little bit smaller, this could be perfect for you. It's a great travel trailer that really does feel like a fifth wheel. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out campgroundviews.com. Yes. We'll put their video right there. Yes. Um, now is the time to get in with them. They're running promotions since they're getting up and going. Mm -hmm. For a lifetime, you can join for a fraction of what it'll cost later. Yep, absolutely. Not only that, once they're fully out, up and running, they won't even offer that lifetime exactly. membership. Yep. Thank you to campgroundviews.com and yes. thank you everybody so much for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.